The ng style attribute directive is another built in directive, which is great when you want to set multiple inline styles based on the state of the component. So let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. So in here, let us remove the ng class. Now let us say we have a lot of inline styles for this h2 tag. Let's say we have the text align, center, let's make it text color. So the color is going to be, let's say green. You might also want to set the font size, let's say large, etc. Now imagine you have multiple styles. So we have multiple styles in this inline style. There are two options. You can either just copy all these styles, create a class and refer that class using the ng class. Or if you want to add styles based on different conditions, then in that case, you can use the ng style. So for example, in here, I'll just go to the component.ts. In here, I'm going to remove all these values. And instead, I'm going to create a property named current styles. And this is going to be of type record, which has string and then string. The record in TypeScript is similar to dictionaries in C Sharp. So here you get to define the key and then the value. And here let us just define an empty record. And then in here inside the constructor, I'll just type that this dot current styles is equal to. And now let us set all the styles. So I'll just copy all these values from here. Just bring them here. And then let us start with the first one. So text align is going to have the value based on the property. So let's create a property in here. Let's say is centered is equal to true. Then we're going to have is success is equal to true. And the last property is going to be is large is equal to true. So here, let us first check for is centered. So if it is centered, then we want to add the class center to text align. Otherwise, We'll just leave it empty. Then next, let us check for the color. So we're going to set the color property, but we are going to set the color based on the is success value. So if is success is true, then the color is going to be green. Otherwise, it is going to be red. And the last property is going to be the font size. And the font size will be based on the is large property. So if it's true, it's going to be large. Otherwise, it's going to be small. Now let us remove this code. I'll just remove this part from here. Add semicolon at the end. Just do some formatting in here. And then I'll just go to the HTML file. In the HTML file, now instead of using style and defining all the inline styles, I'll just use ng style, so ng style, and then pass as a property the current styles. You can see that the array is gone. Let us just save the changes and go to the browser. And now you can see that we have this is just a sample text and it is in the center and green. And I'll just go and change one of the properties. From the properties in here, I'll just change the is success to be false. And now if you go back to the browser, you can see that we have the text in the center, but it's red. 